Well, good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. Merry Christmas, and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, I hope that uh, it is everything that you hope it would be, and uh, I hope you, you're you're blessed today. Today, I want to talk about just the term. It's about Christmas. Christmas is not about the presents, it's not about the tree, it's not about all the activity, it's really about Jesus. It's always been about Jesus and always will be about Jesus, and somewhere along the way we have lost our way. We've gotten caught up in all the commercialism, and uh, you know, uh, this, we think this person's going to give us a gift, so we have to have a gift uh, for them, and you know, we have to have extra gifts just in case someone shows up. And, uh, you know, we, we put ourselves in the debt. And, and many times it takes months and months to pay off that debt because we're trying to make Christmas a uh, something that it's not. You know, it's just, I'm, uh, you know, we didn't have great Christmases or great, you know, many presents uh, growing up as, as Christmas, you know, and it was just maybe economics. And my parents were wise enough to not go into, into too much debt. If any debt, you know, in those days you could go to layaway and you put something away and you pay on it and you pay on it. And finally you pay it off and, and get it out and get it ready for, for Christmas. And, and uh, that was how you handled it back in those days. Credit cards were not uh, readily available, especially for us in our economic uh, situation. Today, I want to encourage you to make Christmas about Jesus. Uh, set time aside to read the Christmas story. Set time away to, uh, as you're getting ready to have your family meal, to, to thank him for his, as the Bible says, his indescribable gift. We're looking at Luke chapter 2 and verse 25. I like this because it says, And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this man was just and devout, waiting for the consolation of Israel. And the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it was it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. And he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up. In his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared uh, before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and, and the glory of your people. And Joseph and his mother mar marveled at those things which were spoken of him. You know, it is an amazing thing. This man, Simeon, who had, who had been waiting and waiting and waiting for the Messiah to come. And God made a promise to him that he was not going to die until he saw Jesus Christ. And, you know, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, it says he was filled with the Spirit, brought him to the place. And, you know, his life was complete. His life was fulfilled because he held Jesus Christ. He held Almighty God. He had the deity of God in his hands. What a precious gift that is. You know what? In this season today, we have the opportunity to give glory to God. Because one day, if you've trusted Christ as your Savior, one day you will marvel in the presence of Almighty God. Let's make Christmas about Jesus. Amen? Amen. Have a blessed Christmas. God bless you. And you know what? I pray for you. And I hope you're, you're well. And we'll talk to you soon. Amen.